up movie lovers is Ahine Arthur right here with 411 on movies on this show it is my duty to update you my darling viewers with all the latest happenings in the world of movies and of course the latest movies showing in cinemas across Nigeria so stay with me for the next few minutes starting right now <music> Hollywood filmmaker Ni Akimo Lion, the director of Wedding Party 2 and Chief Daddy 2, among other interesting titles, recently posted a tweet shading actors demanding for challenging roles but cannot put in the work. He went further to write, Ordinary table read, Unanogo show, talk less of rehearsals, but you want challenging roles, influencer actors, LOL. This tweet got a swift reaction from Nollywood veteran actor Iriti Dor, who responded saying, maybe producers won't have this particular problem if casting was based on talent and the hunger to succeed, as opposed to social media numbers and who is willing to push your film aggressively at no additional cost. Meanwhile, Akimo Lion, in a recent tweet, also addressed the issues of Nollywood producers trying to produce Hollywood standard films. He said, your film will never look like a Hollywood film without your Nollywood budget. Stop struggling and pressuring crew until they break. It has nothing to do with you or your good intention. All this we can compete with Hollywood is only going to stress you. Do the best you can with what you have. In other interesting news, Uche Jumbo recently called it a wrap on the principal photography of her upcoming movie titled Onyebu with second unit of production to take place in Europe. The actor and filmmaker is sitting on the director's chair and doubling as the executive producer of this movie that stars Ade Dimeji Latif, brother Shaggy, Inia Do, Zubi Maike, and big brother Ninja star Tasha among other interesting cast members. Uche Jumbo has described this motion picture as a universal story with a hint of culture. I will give you more update about this picture as it unfolds. The trailer for The Order of Things is out. This movie is one to look out for as it is the music star Dr. Seed's directorial debut. For those who don't know, Dr. Seed's late father, Justice Isiri, was a veteran Nollywood actor, so you can see the talent is in the blood. One striking thing about this trailer is that I can see a number of ex-Big Brother housemates from Big Brother Africa Lillian Afegbae to Big Brother Ninja stars Shei Awolowo, Maria Chike and Dorothy. I'm looking forward to watching them on the big screen. The forthcoming movie follows an introverted video game developer who sets out on a wild and challenging search for a wife with the help of his younger brother. It drops on June 10th, 2022. Leticia Wright has spoken about honoring the late Chadwick Boseman in the upcoming Black Panther sequel, Wakanda Forever. Wright, who plays T'Challa's sister, Shuri, is rumored to be taking up the mantle as the sequel's eponymous superhero. But even if that's not the case, Marvel fans expect her to take on a larger part of the upcoming movie. Wright said in a recent interview, it is an incredible honor for Chadwick Boseman. It's jam-packed with exciting stuff. We honored him by committing ourselves to the story that he started, the legacy that he started with this franchise. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is out in theaters on the 11th of November this year. A new series based on Marvel superhero Daredevil is being developed. According to the report, Matt Coleman and Chris Ord are attached to write and executive produce the show. The Daredevil series was expected to run in a new form after it was cancelled by Netflix in 2018, following a three-season run. And in some other interesting news, a new trailer of Thor Love and Thunder reveals Kristen Bell as Gore, the God Butcher. It once again shows Thor getting back into action after his pizza and beer looking phase <laughs> going from dad bod to god bod directed by tika waititi and produced by kevin feige thor love and thunder opens in theater on july 8 
this year. All right, it's time for us to check out the latest movies showing in cinemas across Nigeria. Starting with Strange Soldier, a Nigerian pilot runs into trouble after rescuing five homeless African girls. A strange military officer comes to her aid from a military base outside town. Another interesting military movie you should see is Top Gun Maverick. The action flick stars Tom Cruise as Ta Tom Cruise as Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell, a test pilot, alongside Miles Teller, Jennifer Connelly, and Val Kilmer. Cruise and Kilmer reprise their roles from the first film, Top Gun, and the film is dedicated to Top Gun director Tony Scott, who died in 2012. This movie got a five-minute standing ovation at the ongoing Cannes Film Festival. The Wild Flower. The Wild Flower tells the story of three women living in the same compound, experiencing different forms of assault from the men around them. 24-year-old Rolake, who is amongst these women, decides enough is enough as she speaks up and we vote against this man. At Forever TV was live at the premiere of this film. You might want to check it out just right after this episode of 411 on Movies. <laughs> Alright guys, that's my time for this week. I hope you had a swell time with me. If you did, please join me again next week for another interesting episode of 411 on Movies with Ahina Arthur. Please follow Afro Rebel TV across all our social media platforms. I'll catch up with you next week.